Okay, just to give you an idea of why I am going to upgrade this to an SSD. Um, I'm showing the difference in speed from the Windows 10 based PC that I'm using up against the iMac. We will turn that on. We will turn the PC on. And I think it will explain itself. That's me at the Windows machine. And as you can see the Mac is just slowly plodding along. You know, I'm up and running on the Windows system. We're still loading. And theirs is only now just getting to the login screen. So we get into the iMac. We're going to have to use one of these. I'll actually get two of them. Um, that's just to get the screen off, the glass panel off the front of this. Once we go inside, <coughs> we'll need a specific tool kit for the various screws that Apple uses. We then have a 1TB SSD 850 Pro Samsung drive, so that's going to go in, but to get that to go in, I then need to use an adapter that will hold that into that, and then finally, this adds about another 40 odd pounds to the whole upgrade, we need this little device, and what this is, is literally to make the iMac think that everything's hunky-dory and all working, and this is the sort of thermal sensor this controls the fans, and make sure that the fans don't just kick in at 100% all the time, so this is the wee extra that I've had to buy in. Absolutely crazy, but that's the Apple way. Okay, at this stage, I've got gloves on, they're rather sweaty fingers. So one, two, three, four. Torque T10. So, let the fun begin. Right, that's the four screws out. Right, we're down to the video stuff now. Double checking everything as we go along. This is where it gets rather scary. screen. Right, now we are inside. So,
Hey. Yeah, well, the new drive. It's going to be a combination of that and, of course, that. Right, after a fair bit of jiggery pokery and watching a video multiple times, you can see we've actually got the original drive out. We've got the bracket in place, the SSD in place, we've got the OWC adapter on there as well, and I followed the videos online or whatever else. I was looking for another cable to be attached that that would replace, but apparently not. Um, so the adapter's been put into that. So all that's left now apparently is for me to just put the screen back on. But I think I'll give it a little clean first. The fans look absolutely terrible. So I'll go get some compressed there and do that. Um, how long has that taken? It's got to be 10-15 minutes. It's not been actually that bad. A lot of horror stories online regarding this, so but we're still not out of the woods yet, we're still got to get it all back together and see if it works. So let's move on to that stage. Right, if you remember at the beginning of this, um, we had started the Dell PC and the iMac, and there was a bit of a difference. Now, what we're going to do is set off the two of them at the exact same time, and hopefully. You should see that there's a slight, slight difference between the two. So the IMAX now in, it's now beat. Right, it's a couple of seconds, it's now beat the Windows 10 PC. 